Hello and good, good evening to everyone. First thing first is uh, this video is a short video um, how to sort of take the back of an A12 uh, or MacBook Pro A1286 and uh, the, the removal process, uh, the safe removal process of, of, of the logic board. Uh, first of all, two good tools required is a Philips, um, you could do with a PH0 and a star or whatever you want, a TX, TX, a 6, I should say. Um, so those are the two th uh, screwdrivers you'll need. I've already taken the back off. Uh, you'd, you'd get uh, small screws around here, uh, small screws. The three long screws will be here, here and this one. Now, very, I've already done that. Very gently, just lift the back cover off and unclip it from the clip. Okay, just make sure that the lid doesn't drop onto the uh, contact, onto the components here. And you don't want to short the board out. So let's put this away for a moment. Okay, get yourself little bags like these, if you can, so just so that you don't drop these screws. Now first, first of all, is to uh, remove the battery connector, which is here. Nice and gently, and just press it back. Secondly, I would remove the uh, keyboard connector from here, with the, with the help of the uh, Phillips screwdriver. The things here attached are the magnets, just so that I don't want to drop these screws because they're very, very tiny screws. Nice and gently, just move that. Um, I tend to sort of have uh, these little packets, so I'm going to throw them in there. Alongside with the uh, plate, the back plate holding the uh, keyboard and the trackpad. Okay, that can go. <clears throat> Next is to just sort of, uh, I'd probably remove the LVDS connector and the uh, ribbon. So you need a Phillips. Um, you, I would, I would strongly recommend you sort of moving this so you got a bit more room to sort of. Uh, maneuver with this uh, connector because it's, it's very flimsy and it can very easily break so let's undo this okay i'm going to drop that into my little uh, bag leave that here for a moment now nice and gently with the help of a tweezer and i did forget to mention tweezers two sets actually two different ones I have here there you go <coughs> we could do with just one tweezer I can gently lift this up okay and very gently pull away pull out the uh, connector but very gently together so you're not sort of pulling on one side and leaving the other side sticking in nice and gently and lift away okay now what I've mentioned to you before is is you know what as, as I said it's very flimsy and it can break very easily is these contacts here they, they, they tend to sort of break if you're not careful if you're pulling it in and when you're putting the uh, uh, connector sort of back in as well you've got to be very very careful that it's all lined in flush fitted and this piece is is sort of on the up not sort of facing like that so you've got to be very careful when you're doing that otherwise you will break break the thing and it's an absolute nightmare to change this because you've got to take the LCD glass off to do that okay next thing to do is I'm going to take the screws after I'm going to undo all the uh, ribbons so th that's a ribbon um, there's one here that one um, this 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 and this and then the fan fan contacts I mean that can stay on there's no problem you need to you don't need to take the fan fan connector off so let's just use my bare hand okay that's off um, I could use the tweezer but I'm not going to bother with that that comes off which is the hard drive CD drive Wi-Fi webcam and 
speaker. Just nice and gently push them back. Do not bend them, but just gently push them back. Okay, and now we're coming down to the keyboard. Just gently pinch and lift the uh, flap that holds the uh, keyboard uh, ribbon down, which is part of the uh, keyboard connector. And gently grab hold onto this and just nice and gently wiggle and, and, and release the, the uh, ribbon, the keyboard. <clears throat> okay, so once that's completed, all the uh, ribbons are off. Okay, you want to sort of uh, move, the, start moving the screws, and, and, and to do that, you'll need a um, TX6. And I've got a magnet attached to it, I don't want these screws sort of disappearing. So I'll start off from the top left hand corner. Okay, uh, there's one here. Okay, there's one next to the uh, RAM slot. One over here. There's a screw at the end here. Oops. And I did forget to do one thing, which I will sort of show you. There's one more little ribbon for the back key back lit keyboard, which I did sort of uh, forget. And it's literally here. So be very nice and gentle and lift this thing and pull away the ribbon. Now you do want to press this back down again because they're very small, very tiny, and it will break very easily. Okay, so once that's been completed, um, there's more screws, I would literally sort of, uh, that one will need removing from the fan. And this one needs removing from the fan. And also this one. Okay, so the board is already loose, you can leave those fan screws on. And that fan screws on you can leave the fan it's no no big deal <clears throat> you can remove the dim dims from the unit but I'd prefer you just sort of leave 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 that in you're probably wondering why am I doing this actually um, I've been asked by a couple of people out offshore to try and send the logic board for repair for in, in, in conjunction with conjunction with GPU and things like that <laughs> excuse me so uh, to sell send the whole unit it's, it's going to be quite costly in terms of shipping and things like that so it's a much easier to sort of send the logic board and finally you've got to release the uh, DC port or the board I should say and those are long screws two long screws you can't go wrong with them okay so once that's been done nice and gently just be careful do not force I mean look what's happening here is these, these these look at this this is stopping this is stopping me from lifting the board so you do not want to force the board at no circumstances be nice and gentle and it should sort of come away okay but once you've lifted that side you want to sort of pull the board nice and gently pull and then lift again and then it should gently release itself you do not want to force and pull on absolute anything and there we go okay you can leave that in no problem that's that's what I need basically um, and the the process of putting it back together is absolutely the same but when you do that I would definitely recommend removing the fan this particular fan because the the keyboard backlit keyboard connect uh, ribbon is actually is a bit bit friendly to do it to try and get it through this gap so i would definitely recommend sort of removing this screw and and un unconnecting the fan from this connector and then sort of uh, put put the ribbon back in um onto the onto the connector and then uh, basically sort of put your fan back on and, and just 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 do do exactly what i've just done now um in in the reverse order and uh, you know putting them back together and hopefully you should be absolutely fine with that so that 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 is it basically so it's not rocket science it's something very basic but it's only for those who are not very confident in taking the logic board out um, this this is it literally that's what you need to do to try and take the uh, logic board out so uh, if you've got any questions or concerns sort of give us give us, drop us a message on the uh, YouTube below and uh, I'll try my very best to get back to you 
um, and I think I've uh, literally sort of uh, covered as much as I can yes I would I would sort of recommend you to sort of put this in an anti-static bag um, definitely put you know use a, a packaging to ensure that it does not get damaged on transit as well so uh, I think I've covered most of the stuff here uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, I look forward to those boards coming